B Fit Nation, looks like we are ready to go. Welcome back to another Motivational Monday, a B Fit Live programmed workout. With B Fit 360, just one component of our active lifestyle, healthy lifestyle living uh, as we progress through the weeks. Uh, join us, welcome in. This is our chance to focus on ourself, on our health, and our wellness as we move through today's workout team. All right, it's a special one because it is a cardio-based workout, so we are looking to raise that heart rate, burn some additional calories while pushing through with four different movements for today. Before I jump into the timing and the program workouts, I'd like to introduce my guest, Dear Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? I am fantastic. Uh, I'm going to let everybody know that it's a little warm in here today, so we are going to sweat, uh, we're going to push through, have some fun, but really uh, work through that sweat. Just like everyone else out there. <laughs> and drink lots of water. Perfect, perfect plug there because hydration is key for our workouts. Uh, not only to set yourself up for the most optimal type of performance, right? But uh, health-wise and a lot of added benefits with hydration. So please stay hydrated through today's workouts. Uh, again, it's, it's a cardio-based workout. So we are looking at raising our heart rate, really focusing on some quick speed type of movements as we go through our journey for today's workout. If you're new to the workout, welcome. Uh, drop us a note in the comment section below. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from, where you're engaging from, and where you're working out from. Uh, as we progress through today's workouts, uh, chime in. Uh, and this is a great time right now to share this workout with any, uh, any friends, family, coworkers, spouses, all of your Facebook family out there. Uh, it's all about teamwork and keeping each other accountable. So our health and wellness it uh, goes a long way with accountability, just like I have with my partner, uh, Sergeant Barry. So uh, welcome in with our Exchange BFIT 360 program workout for today's Monday workout. All right, let's jump into the movements for today. Again, it's all about cardio-based workouts. So we have four different movements to really target a full body of work. So we're going to grab a pair of dumbbells. You will need one dumbbell, actually. But if you'd like to scale up through the four rounds, uh, that'll give you some options to progress and load up as we move through the workout. So movement number one, we're looking at a dumbbell overhead hold with an added reverse lunge, all right? So we will go into alternating reverse lunges as we hold some weight overhead. And have no fear, we will demonstrate each of these four movements as we go on uh, through the show. Movement number two, a dumbbell squat plus a front raise. Again, two for one combination, working our lower body and some upper body shoulder anterior delt activation. Movement number three, some agility work here with a forward jump and two reverse hops, okay? Really engaging some uh, plyometric movements as well as some hamstring activation with two reverse hops. You're gonna feel that activation as we move through the workout, trust me. Uh, we do have a modification for movement number three as well that we will demonstrate and movement number four, we are on the floor with flutter kicks, okay? Engaging our core, really tight activated engagement with movement number four. Our timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. I know we mentioned hydration break, so that 60 seconds of rest is a great time to reset, recalibrate, uh, kind of regroup, and then hydrate. Hydrate, 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 right? Um, we have our hydration ready. It looks like our team is good to go here. So again, welcome in, leave us a note. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know how your day is going. Let us know what you're looking forward to uh, with each of these movements. Again, this is a great time to really focus on ourselves, really focus on pushing through each of these four movements. Okay, team? So let's go ahead and demonstrate each of the four movements. Sorry, Barry's gonna demonstrate the first two, and then I will demonstrate movement three and four. Starting with movement number one, with one dumbbell, we're gonna go ahead and take that dumbbell and extend it up and overhead. So we're gonna lock out that arm and make sure we leave enough room for a reverse lunge. So wherever your space is, you may wanna to come to the top of the space. So we're gonna go into that front isometric hold into that front uh, shoulder activation. So you're gonna feel that isolate or activation in your shoulder. Then we're gonna go back into a reverse lunge. You're gonna go ahead and alternate back into your reverse lunge. You'll notice with the weight on one side, it's really gonna force you to engage our core to stabilize and balance. So alternate legs into your reverse lunge. You'll see Sergeant Barry's chest is still staying up. Her head is looking forward. Her arm is trying to lock straight out and no need to pause at the bottom because we'll just go right back into those reverse lunges for 20 seconds with that hold on one arm and then we will switch sides and take that weight up on the opposite arm and then continue with our reverse lunges 
back onto that opposite side. All right, team? That's going to be movement number one. Movement number two, we're taking that single dumbbell, and we're going to go into an, a squat with a front raise. So a great combination movement here, again, working on some lower body activity, as well as some upper body uh, anterior delts, some shoulders, as well as some core uh, brace as well. So as we drop down into our squat, feet shoulder width apart or a little bit wider, just to clear our dumbbell. As we drop our hips back and down, keeping our chest up, we're going to raise that dumbbell to about chin level and then drop it right back down as we stand up with one fluid motion here. So you can see Sergeant Barry dropping down to her comfort level in her deep squat and then raising that dumbbell up to about chin level and you'll feel that activation again in our shoulders. So be mindful of what we can lift with our shoulders rather than with a deep with a squatting position, okay? So a little two for one there. Again, cardio based, so we're working out some speed, some agility, uh, rather than a nice strong lift like we would a resistance based day, okay? Movement number three, we have uh, a forward hop, a forward jump, rather, and two reverse hops. So you're gonna set yourself up, nice strong foundation, right? Feet shoulder width apart, use your arms for momentum. It's gonna carry you forward. So as I jump towards my camera here, using our arms for momentum, one strong hop, nice soft bound. So really absorb that weight. And from here, you have two hops to take you back to your starting position. Remember to lead with your hips as you hop back one and two. Again, leading with our hips back, that way we don't get top heavy and start trailing backward with our upper body. So again, one strong hop, and then one and two to carry us back to starting position. And that's gonna be 40 seconds of work. Now, if you're thinking, Roy, maybe my body cannot jump or plyo just like that. Don't worry, we're gonna take a nice quarter squat here, and we're gonna go ahead and go into a duck walk forward and a duck walk backward. So that's gonna be the modified version here. You're still gonna get a lot of activation within your quads, glutes, and hamstrings as you trail forward and backward. So we're gonna take a few steps forward, depending on how our space is. One, two, three, four for me. And then staying in that low squat, I'm going to take four steps backward for me. And again, with that forward backward, you're gonna feel that isolation and activation in your quads, hamstrings, and glutes. All right, team, that's gonna be movement number three. And movement number four, we're gonna take a seat on the floor with flutter kicks, okay? So as we take that seat, we're gonna recline back here. Head can be braced on the floor, or we can raise up with our shoulder blades off the floor for some added, uh, with a progressive movement here. From here, we're gonna flutter kick here, so our legs are going to switch. Nice control here for 40 seconds of work. Now, if we need to kind of regress a little bit, we go ahead and take our heels down, one up, one down, one up, one down, as quickly or as slowly as we can get through that movement, okay? So that's gonna be movement number four with our floor flutter kicks. So again, four different movements to take us through a cardio-based workout. I hope we're ready, team, because this is gonna be a good one. I'm already uh, <laughs> engaged and ready to go. All right, team, so let's go through some demonstrations. I'm sorry, let's go through some dynamic stretches. That way we can get our bodies prepared and ready to go. We do have some squats. We do have some reverse lunges. So let's go through a few of those movements to get us ready for our working set. So we're gonna take a step up to the top of our workout space here. We're gonna take a reverse lunge back. We're gonna take that arm up and reach over to our left side. If your right leg went back, come back to center and right back up with a reverse lunge with alternating arm reaches, all right? Each of these movements for our dynamic stretches can be at your own pace. And they're roughly about 30 seconds to 20 seconds on each of these. All right, take the time here to really scan your body, see where we may be tight in. I know for me, it's usually my hips. So I like to really focus on those nice deep stretches, pushing my hips forward, warming my hips up, quads, glutes, hamstrings can go a long way, especially for some cardio based movements. But that overhead reach can really open up our mid to upper back and our shoulders because we do have some shoulder work here for today. All right, lateral lunges here. Nice wide stance. Our toes are going to be fixed forward. From here, we're gonna shift our weight over to the left and then to the right. Again, as slow or as fast as you may need. Feeling that stretch inside of our inner thigh, pushing some blood flow up or rather down towards our lower body. Push it up, there you go. <laughs> 
All right, push those hips back, work through for a few more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, team, let's bring our feet shoulder width apart here. Arms are going to be nice and fully extended. From here, we're gonna hinge at our hips only. So pushing our hips back, our back is nice and flat, our back, our head is looking down about 45 degrees, and then we're gonna come right back up. So we're warming up our glutes, hamstrings, shoulders are nice and extended, just like they will be for movement number one and feeling some activation and warming up of our lower back. Good, just a few more here. Push those hips forward at the top. Good, last three seconds. Two, one, all right team, let's go with hip circles. Right leg here, we'll go right leg forward, right leg back. Right leg forward, right leg back here. We'll stay on one side for a few seconds. That's all right. Anyway, any flow is good here. <laughs> I just happened to choose one side today. Last forward, last back, and we'll switch to our opposite side here. Nice big round circles. Again, warming up our lower body, hips specifically, mobility, working on that mobility. Good, last three, last two, Last one, and just to get us warmed up with arm circles to finish us out. Nice big circles with our right arm. Good, and let's take that back. In reverse, switch it and reverse it. All right, speaking of switch, let's go ahead and work on that left arm. A few big circles going forward here. Again, shoulder. Activation is what we have for a few movements, so it goes a long way. And backwards here. Nice big circles. Last three, two, one. All right, team. Looks like we are ready to go. I hope so. Take this time if you need to kind of freestyle. Leave a comment and kind of freestyle with any additional body parts that you may feel a little tight in. Now's a great time, as well as hydration. I know we're going to take a quick sip because it is a little warm in here. So don't mind us. We'll take a quick sip with the team and then we will be good to go. I know we'll get our clock up on the screen in a few. And there it is. Just that good. We are just that good here, team. We are. All right, 40 seconds on the clock. Remember to grab that one dumbbell here. <clears throat> Again, we're going to hold that dumbbell up and overhead. Just a quick recap before we get started. Overhead, ho overhead hold with a reverse lunge for movement number one. Movement number two is a dumbbell front squat with an extra raise. Three is going to be our jumps with a reverse hop or a duck walk forward and back. And four is going to be our flutter kicks. All right, team. 40 seconds on the clock. We are up in five, four, three, two, one. All right, team. 40 on the clock here. Again, working our way on one side for 20 seconds. You'll notice if you have your load fully extended into one arm, that it's a little challenging, right? We want to engage our core. Seven seconds here, we'll switch on arms. Keep our chest up, drive up through that front heel. 20 seconds in, we'll go ahead and switch sides and continue to work through our reverse lunges. Again, shoulders activated, controlling with our core. I know that load wants us to pull from one side, stabilize it, hold it in two, one and time. All right, team. 20 seconds here, squat to a front raise. A great alternative for that first movement would be a front rack position. So that's why I, right? Instead of a full extension, front rack. All right, dumbbell squat to a front rack. In two, one. All right, team. Let's go ahead and work here. Again, these movements can be as fast or as slow as we need. Drop down into your low squat. Again, to your comfort level. And we're gonna raise that dumbbell up to about chin level. Nice full extension again in our arms. Push back in those hips. Knees are tracking in front of our toes here, right at our toes. Good, keeping our chest up nice and proud as we dip down. Nice control here. Five and out, team, stay with us. Two, last rep here. Good job. Good job, Sarnberg. Good job, right? I appreciate it. Listen, a little 
cheering goes a long way with our cardio days. All right, we're gonna find a space, find our back space here because we have our forward jump with two reverse hops or Sergeant Barry's gonna demonstrate the duck walk or perform the duck walk rather. So let's go here, nice strong jump or working our way back. I have two hops, there we go. So 30 seconds here, again, nice strong bound, some movements that we may or may not do on a daily basis, but they can be applied outside of the gym here to keep us agile, to keep us moving a little bit more comfortably. That way when we need to move this way, we can. Eight seconds here, good. You'll notice with those two hops going back, you'll feel the engagement in your hamstrings. Leave with those hips back and time. Good job. Good job. I feel it with the duck walk. You do feel it. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, what is it? See, uh, funny name, serious movement. Uh, <laughs> is what I'm gonna say with that one. Flutter kicks coming up in four seconds. We're gonna find that seat on the floor, recline back, elevate those heels, and then go into work here. Good. Again, heads can be supported on the floor. Hands next to you or underneath your hips. If that works out well for you, a little bit more of a progression, lifting those shoulders and shoulder blades rather off the floor and then work at your pace. Again, if we need to regress a little bit to bring one heel down and switch. Good job. Seven seconds to your team. Finish it out as a team here. There it is. And time, good job. <laughs> Way to finish out your first round. And just like we said about hydration, now's a great time <laughs> to really focus on that hydration here. Again, I know it's warming up for a lot of us here uh, around our Beef and Nation community. So make sure to stay hydrated, all right? 39 seconds, giving you a little bit of a rest period, a little bit of a recovery period to focus on any tight areas, tight spaces, tight places in our body, uh, as well as kind of recalibrating and say, okay, how did my first round go? How can I progress up? How can I move maybe a little quicker on a tempo or push a little bit of the heavier weight? We should go three more rounds and we're good to go. Again, leave us a note. How are you doing team? Little keyboard cat, if you will. Ta -ta -ta -ta. 10 seconds here, we're gonna grab one demo. Again, nice strong over extension, top of our workout space here. We are up in two, one, full extension, alternating reverse lunges here. Again, uh, with balance, with stabilization. I like my arm out just a little bit. Sorry, Mary has her hand supported on her hip. Great option. Good. Any way that's comfortable for you to stabilize. Again, nice tight core, switch arms here, 20 seconds in. Up and over. Good. Again, keeping our chest up, controlling that stability here. Five seconds and we are out, team. Keep working. Two, one, and time. Good job. Woo. All right. Again, cardio based workout today with a little bit of a load, right? A little bit of resistance to really. Take us to the next level. Squat with the front raise, coming up in five seconds, team. We are up in two, and one. Good. You can sit back into your heels, into your hips. If you need to widen your squat stance, just a hair, that might be a little bit more comfortable, give you a little bit more stability. Drive those knees out. As you come back to this top, good. Keep that core nice and tight. Nice deep breath in on the way down. Exhale as you come up. Good. There you go. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. And if at any point, team, you need to kind of let go of that front raise and just go into your squat, feel free to do that as well. All right. On to movement number three with our agility work. Forward jump, reverse hops, duck walks. Let's get activated. <laughs> Here we go, team. Okay, 
get working through today's workout. Cardio-based, elevated heart rate. Focusing on your movements. Remember to use your arms for momentum. If we're jumping, leading with our hips. Nice, strong hops going back. Almost there, halfway there, team. A little bit of balance, a little bit of stabilization. A lot, actually. 10 seconds in work, team. Good. Feeling the burn here. <laughs> Good. Last three seconds. Finish it out. Two, one, and time. Woo. Hand clap for the team on that one because that was a tough one. We're going to take a seat on the floor here. Woo. Flutter kicks to finish out our round. Gather our breath, gather our breathing. 30 seconds. All right, team. We have modified version, heel on the floor, head on the floor as well as an option, hands by our side, hands underneath our hips, hands by our temple with our head up. A few different options here, depending on our fitness level. Good, 20 and out, team. As fast or as controlled as we feel. 10 seconds, team. Core's nice and tight. Keep it engaged. Finish it out. Come this far. Three, two, rest here, and time. Good job. And that is the halfway point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. As we peel ourselves up for you. Good job, team. Again, if you are just joining us, Beef and Ambassador Roy Monta is here with Senior Sergeant Sonny Berry, and we are pushing through today's workout. As I interrupted your hydration break, don't let me stop you here. But again, hydration is key here. Weather's warming up, rooms are warming up, heart rate is warming up. Nice and elevated position here. So we're working through today's cardio base workout with four different movements every Monday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We're here with you to push you every step of the way, every rep of the way. <laughs> 13 seconds, team. Let's get ready for that third and third round. One dumbbell here. All right. Okay. It's time. Full extension. Top of our workout space. It is time. Pushing through. All right. Front rack position. We can be here at that front rack position, or we can be fully extended, just like Sergeant Barry's doing. Good. Make sure to push back in those heels. Try to keep our arm fully extended. Good, 20 seconds and out. We're gonna switch sides. Nice front extension. Working back. Good, 12 seconds. Keep our balance. There we are. Regain that composure. Five and out, team. Again, unilateral work here, working one side of our arms and time, forcing us to stabilize. Good job. Keep the weight in hand or reset. We have a front squat, I'm sorry, we have a squat to a front raise. Seven seconds here. Five and we are up. Two, one, roll our shoulders back. Good. Nice strong squat. Good. Again, what's great about a front rack position or weight in front of you, it allows you to kind of keep that chest up Nice and straight. Our chest should not be facing the floor. Good. Work to your speed. Push yourself. Good. Last 10 and out. Push back in those hips. Raise that bar. Raise that bell. Last two. Last one. And time. Good job. All right, find our breath here. Hold that head up high. Keep those arms up. <laughs> Just like movement number one. <laughs> All right, three seconds here. We have our agility work and walks coming up. 40 on the clock. Good. Nice soft landings here. If we are jumping, Good. Feel that work in our hamstrings. Sergeant Barry is pushing through some full activation here. Full on 
quad hamstring glutes activated with our jumps. A little bit more of a fast twitching fibers coming into play. Five seconds and we're out. Good, last three, two, one, and time. Stand up nice and proud here. Catching our breath. Good job. Taking a spot on the floor here. Rounding out round three with flutter kicks. All right, team, we are up in two. Reclining back. Again, focus on our core. Bringing that navel down towards our spine. Nice flat back. That bottom lower part of your back should be touching the floor. Shoulders off the floor. Head on the floor. Either one here. 12 and out. I'm sorry, 18 and out. I know, I know. Good. Show that control. You got it, team. Heels can come off the floor as well as a mod. Last three, two, one, and time. Woo. Good job, good work. <laughs> Take the time here, team. Take the time. Take the time that you deserve. Pushing through each of the four rounds here. Speaking of fourth round, we're coming up on our last and final round. Gonna leave us with a comment here. Let's Aaron Barry or myself know how we're doing. Pushing through today, team. Again, we like to spice things up. We like to keep it in a wide, full body type of workout here. Cardio based movements is what we're focusing on today. Really getting our heart rate elevated. Uh, something that, some movements that we may not see in a resistance based workout where we're controlling our weight, focusing on our form. Not to say we're not doing that today, but a little bit of hard, high intensity, heart rate elevated movements to get us through the workout here. So, movement number one, thank you, overhead. Hold with our reverse lunge coming up very quickly here. In two, in one. Here we go, team. Again, fully extended on our arms can be option one, option two. We can come down into that front rack position if we need. 10 seconds, we'll switch arms. Good. Three seconds and we're out. Last rep, switch arms. Other side. Show some love to our left side. Continue to work here, team. Find that balance. Core is nice and tight to keep our stabilization. Good. Seven seconds here, team. I know we have dumbbells overhead. Doesn't take a lot of weight to achieve this movement. Here we go. Rest, recover. Find that stretch. <sighs> 10 seconds here. Nice deep breath in, reset. All right, BFIT Nation, time to push through. I know it's tough, I know it's getting tough. 10 rounds, 10 <laughs> seconds, rather. <right. laughs> I was so close. <laughs> Good. Again, working alongside myself. And starting Barry here. Pushing through BFIT Nation. Again, the last round of four rounds here. 20 seconds and we're out. Push back in those heels and hips. Keep that chest up as we lower controllably. 10 and out. Seven seconds, team. Finish it out, team. Good. Good job, Sergeant Gray. Last two, last one. I got you. Right. Good job. Good work, team. Drop the weight. You won't see that one again unless you extend your rounds. Tack on another two rounds if you'd like. That's all you. That's all you. <laughs> Three seconds team, agility work coming up. Here we go team, back of our workout space. 40 on the clock. Again, working through every step of the way here. One forward hop, two reverse hops. Leading with our hips, staying on our toes. Good, finding that balance. Nice, strong stabilization here. Core is nice and tight. The lower body is activated. Good. Good job. Sorry, Barry, staying low. Nice walk, full engagement. I know. Fully activated here. Five and out. Last three, two, one. And that's the last top you're getting. Good job. 
Good job, team. Good job. With a smile here because we have one movement left. Okay, finding the space on our floor. Last and final movement. Last round. Last round. Last set. Last set. There it is. 40 of the clock here. We are working through, pushing through. There we go. 30 seconds, your team. Good job. Good. Again, at your pace here, nice flutter kicks. I'm trying to synchronize myself with Sergeant Barry here. I don't know. She, keep up. I, you have a really good pace going on. <laughs> 10 seconds and we're out, team. Keep pushing. Out in five. Push, push, push. Three, two, last rep. And time. Good Ooh. job. <laughs> I'll just stay down here. A little bit of a hand clap here. Good job, B Fit Nation. Good work, good work. Again, great work today. You get a high five from myself, and that one's from Sergeant Barry as well. <laughs> B Fit Nation, good work, good work. Find our breathing, find our hydration, find our water, towel it off. Make sure to stretch and recover. It's just as important as our nice, strong workouts team with us in our exchange and our BFIT community, check us out in stores. Visit us in stores or online at Shop My Exchange. You can find a wealth of gear, athletic apparel, sports nutrition, fitness trackers, things of that nature to really help sustain or elevate your active lifestyle team. Again, with our BFIT program, just one component fitness-wise of our 360 holistic approach here. Speaking of holistic, walk outside of our exchange mall areas and you can visit our wellness services that we may offer at your installation. ShopMyExchange.com forward slash wellness can give you the list of wellness services that are offered on your installation or your closest installation from optical to dental. Durable medical equipment has you covered with support for movement, joint chiropractic care at some locations and optometry. That's gonna be our wellness services with the exchange and our services department. Since you're in the mall, kind of travel on over to our exchange restaurants, whether it be at our main store or any supporting troop malls as well. Look for our exchange restaurants. We have more than 1,600 restaurants that can offer better for you options. Nutrition, just another component of our 360 approach. So uh, scan this QR code right here, and this can take you to our online nutritional guides of the exchange restaurants, right? If you're thinking Subway, you're thinking, um, Boston Market or Freshens, right? Uh, look for those uh, nutrition guides right here with this QR code. All right, team. Again, one component, build a better you with our exchange restaurants. If you go outside to our express stores, look for our healthier choices shelf tags. There'll be a green label, just like the one that you will see on screen right here. And this is uh, more than 400 items, right? That take the guesswork out of smart snacking options, right? To get you from breakfast to lunch, lunch to dinner, everything in between to help you refuel, recalibrate, and prepare for that next adventure ahead, Team Smart. Healthier choices with our smart snacking options at our Express and also available in our main stores, Team. All right, if you're looking for additional information, check out our Exchange Hub. Our Exchange Hub has different categories that can really offer additional workouts, just like the ones that we have, our full catalog of our Be Fit live workouts, as well as at-home workouts if we are there. We have at-home workouts, we have running prep, marathon prep, if that's within you today. We also have highlight highlighted material on gear, on nutrition, and on our wellness services. So take a look here, scan the QR code, pause it, take a screenshot, share it with your family. This has a full recap of our exchange BFIT 360 approach team, all right? A lot of information there. Uh, to highlight and to categorize, but it's all for you, our exchange family, and our BFIT Nation team, all right? Uh, as I turn over to Sergeant Barry here, any additional, did I miss anything? Any, any comments, anything that, how did you feel on today's workout? Was there a movement that was kind of like, I've never done that one before, but uh, I really did enjoy it. I liked all of them, <laughs> um, but I think a lot of quads, so mm -hmm. by the, the third when I was crawling. I felt like I was crawling when I was duck walking. I right. It, but it's like one of those right. ones you're really proud of yourself when you get done. You're like, <laughs> I made it. No, absolutely. I think it's that self 
gratification of knowing that you pushed just a little yeah. bit further than you did on your last workouts or yesterday, uh, knowing that you push through can really build up that strength mentally to yeah. create that mental fortitude that you could use for you know future workouts. And not only that, with our lower body being our, one of our, our largest muscle groups, and you know, it takes a little bit more to really uh, get it activated and you know feeling like you've worked. And I think today with the four different movements, however, it was lower body, uh, majority lower body based, you can still feel um, feel that progression and feel that activation uh, through each of the four movements. However, they were you know using different parts of our lower body. So a great way to achieve. Great way to achieve a full body workout, just like you're saying. Uh, really kind of gets your heart rate elevated again, and that was the goal for today's, um, today's workout. Cardio-based workout for today. Again, working on our cardio-based movements rather than some resistance. So uh, I hope you enjoyed, BFit Nation team. Um, next Monday, we'll be back at 11 a.m. Central Center time live uh, to be with you every step of the way and every rep of the way. So we're going to push through again, and we'll challenge ourselves. I believe it's a hybrid or distance-based workout, so a little bit of a gear switch, but again, it's all programmed uh, to really benefit us in the long run as a holistic approach to our fitness program team, all right? Um, is there anything else we'd like to say? Well, cheers to our family out there. Yes, cheers. <laughs> until next week. All right, team. Until next week, and we will see you again uh, next Monday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Be Fit Ambassador Roy Montes here, and Senior Master Sergeant Tony Berry. Bye.